You know what really irritates people? When people start thinking for themselves. The heck are you saying, dude? Why are you whispering? So you have this, you have this building, okay? You have this building where you go, you, you go put your money, you go put your money into, okay? Now this is money, by the way, let's rewind here. This is money that you worked and you made an earning, correct? When you work and you make an earning, in most cases, you got to pay some kind of tax. So why then do you have to take that hard-earned money and pay more tax? You ever thought about that? So you work, you make, a, you make money, you pay tax on that. Now you have what's called your net income. But then you take your net income and you need to, you know, pay stuff, of course, with it. But then you're paying other tax. Property tax. Sales tax. Whatever. I mean, tax, tax, tax. So you have this building where you go put your hard-earned taxed money. So you take, take your money. Most likely in today's day, it is uh, a check or it's uh, you know a direct deposit so what's that mean though I'm not the first person to talk about this I'm just I'm just on it you know I'm just I'm just uh, I'm just uh, I just think about this type of types of things I just I just think about these things right so you take that money direct deposit whatever but it's not cash right oh no you guys remember back in the day when like your great grandma would have a coffee can, Folgers or whatever, a coffee can full of cash. Or you remember the you remember back in the day even your parents had a stash of whatever cash or whatever the case is. You know, and that's been the way forever, right? So now you have these buildings. Sometimes they're not even buildings, they're just online. But you have these buildings where you take your hard-earned taxed money and it gets direct deposited into this said account. Now, remember how it was sold to you. Yes, this is a, you know, a checking account. You can have digital access, uh, you know, wherever uh, throughout the world and then you can also have a savings account too that's going to gain a half of a half of a half of a half of a quarter of a percent <laughs> every year. Alright. So first things first. That money that you put into that building. Where is it? Where is it? In the building? Ah, huh. interesting. Let me ask you a question. How come there's limits on your money? All right, remember what I was saying at the beginning. How come people feel like they need to like control? Mm -mm. How come people feel like they need to try to run my life, your life, other people's lives? How come there's limits on your money? How come there's limitations on your money? What do I mean? I understand it's a plastic machine that can only hold so much cash money okay I understand that but it's your money it's your money okay oh that that's why you can go inside you can go inside the said building and withdraw your money oh did you know did you know that if you want to withdraw over X amount of dollars 10,000 let's just say if you want to take $10,000 of cash out, you have to give this building a heads up or you have to get approvals. What? How come 
lately too, when you go take out, let's just make a number up, $5,000. How come lately when you go take out a couple thousand dollars, they ask you what you're gonna spend it on? <laughs> yeah, no thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna spend it on whatever the heck I wanna spend it on. It's my money. Okay. What if everybody that watches this video right now, all five of you, what if everybody that is watching this video, we all decide, hey, let's go to our own said buildings all at the same time. And all of us are going to withdraw and empty our accounts, okay? Let's say everybody in the world does this. We all go to the said building at the same time and we all withdraw everything from our account. But hold on, but hold on. But this is a building that promoted the ease and convenience for you to put your money, hold it there as a convenience for you so you can access it digitally and live in this world. How about this side of it? How about this side of it? How about said building, company, and or parent company, and or conglomerate parent of a parent company, takes your money and everybody else's money, leverages your money, and makes bad bets? Interesting. Well, what do you mean? Okay. You guys know there's money managers out there. You guys know there's um, also known as hedge funds, money managers, whatever. So like if you're a teacher, fire department, police department, a lot of times you're in a group um, retirement fund. Now the said building where you put your money then dictates or has a partnership with money managers or they might even be one. That's interesting, huh? Now. What do they do with that money? Hmm. They try to make money with your money. What did you just say? They try to make money with your money. They charge you fees, maintenance fees, transaction fees, interest fees, fees after fees. And all they're doing is taking your money and leveraging it and it's all being used by the said building. What if they lose though? What if they lose? What if, what if the said building makes a bad bet? Oh, it's a bet too. It's a bet. What if they lose? Well, then you're in a situation like we are today. <laughs> so, this isn't a, uh, a money-making whatever video. This is just a random thought to think about. The said, the said building that's holding your money is using your money. And currently they're losing your money. I mean, you read about it sometimes. Teachers unions, unions, PERS, retirement funds, they announce that they're buying into certain portfolios, certain stock options, certain, they're making plays. Now, they're supposed to be making you money. That's the idea, right? That's why, that's why you start a 401k. That's why you start investments. That's why you start, you know, working towards that company match. That's why you start all that. Side note though, 401k. For those that don't know, you can't touch your 401k unless it's a special circumstance. Example, buying a house. But it's retirement money. That's why it's supposed to stay there, right? That's what they tell you. That's the dream. That's the facade. It's because they're using that money. I'll close with this. 
If any of you have been following what's happening in the world right now with digital assets versus cash, cash rules everything around me, cream get the money, dollar dollar bill y'all, yeah, there's a, there's a wild agenda happening behind the scenes, I don't know what it is, I'm not super in tune with it, but it's been happening for the last couple of years for sure, there's a lot of companies and a lot of said buildings that are over leveraged right now, they don't have your money, it's gone. You literally have zero. You just have digits. You just have digits. You have digits on a screen, on a plastic card. You think they can just go ahead and like make those digits disappear? Hmm. You think they can go ahead and like lock your card? Huh. Do you think they can go ahead and Shut down your phone so you can't access it there? Well, let me ask you a question. What are we all going to do? What are we all going to do when it's all gone? Are we going to be forced? Hmm, interesting, right? Remember what this whole thing is about. Why do people feel like they need to control us? And money is where they do it. Are we going to be forced? To move into a uh, one world currency? Huh, interesting. There's a lot of crazy things about to happen. Keep your eyes open. Stay mobile. Keep your assets safe. Think about everything I'm saying right now. It's your money. It's your money. And it's stuff like this, you know. I don't I don't talk too much about this, you know, because of course this is a average dad gaming channel, but. This is dad stuff right here, you know? This is average stuff right here. Not necessarily gaming, you know, that's all good. But, so think about that. Not to ruin your day, but why do they feel like they have to control your money? <laughs> oh. See you later.